So the Squirrel Cage Jail opened in 1885 and served as the county jail up until 1969. What's crazy or unique about us is we are a rotary jail. So all three levels of cells rotate as one large piece, kind of a messed up carousel, if you will. Um, we were ordered to stop rotation in 1960 due to safety. There's only three remaining today. There were 18 built in the 1880s and were the largest ever built at the three tiers of Rotary. So it's supposed to be cheaper and easier to house a large number of inmates. Our structure with the Rotary holds 60 men and the whole building holds 90. And we have a staff of two, the jailer and his wife. So it was a cost cutting effort. And if we're always rotating, you don't know where the jailer is. So you should be on your best behavior, which was a great theory. The jailer and his family have quarters on the fourth floor above the inmates. So it could be kind of loud and it could be a little smelly because of our uh, sewer system. The first instance of indoor plumbing here in Council Bluffs, and we say that loosely, there would have been water in it that would flush out, and there's one in each cell, which was pretty exciting, because that was built in 1885. We had a water motor that assisted with the rotation, but it burned out within the first five to 20 years, which means it moves to hand crank or manual movement only. So the jailer would have to use a hand crank to rotate the entire 90,000 pound structure. And as time went on, our whole building shifts, making it harder so people would get stuck in the cage until they could rotate again. Real people were in this building and they didn't get to leave for five days a year. And that the jailer and his wife had to live here and she's cooking so many meals and these are real people and real stories. Some days you walk in and just realize that people have been walking through this building for 136 years and you're walking that same pathway and it's kind of awe-inspiring. If it were designated a National Historic Landmark, it would be very helpful in um, bringing more people in, as well as continued protection for the Historical Society's property.